Okay, good morning. It is 4.30 in the morning. I'm gonna turn this around. I'm out here at my trailer and I am getting ready to get my boy out to go for a ride. I'm meeting Meg at five on my driveway. So I just wanna let you know, it is really not daylight. <laughs> it's dark, but the weather today is going to be bad. It's well, not the weather so much as the humidity, the temperature is only going to be 97, but the humidity is going to be high. So we want to get out there and get back in there before our brains get fried. So come along. Okay, today it's July 10th and Meg and I are back up in Miller, what did you call this? Miller, Miller Flats. Miller Flats. We are parked in site one and uh, it's about eight miles back on Mescal Road off of I-10. So it's pretty far back. And the road is very washboardy, so be ready for that. And uh, I was here not too long ago and it's real important that you have either boots or shoes on your horse. So just a heads up on that one. And there is lots of cat claw, so you might wanna have Shanks or shafts and long sleeves. So this is kind of what we ran into the other day. We just did a lot of circles to get out of situations because of the, the um, okay, so come along. Okay, Meg and I are doing really good so far. We've only come across one cat claw bush, cat claw bush, so not bad. We're up on the uh, trail, cow trail beside the wash. We'll see how far this goes and then we can always turn around. Yes. That's what we thought too. Gail and I, when we came here, we said, oh my gosh, look, we have a road. Good, let's see. <laughs> lots, lots of rocks. And Meg is prepared. Look at her. She has her rain slicker on there. Let's wishful thinking there, Meg. Well, I, I was going to ask you, is your horse still the train? No. Because we haven't had any rain since I've <laughs> No, that's not true. I know, I just didn't ride. So now I have to get my horse um, rain slicker train. There you go. I have a hard time with words, sorry. But so here we go. And you don't wait until it rains to get in slicker train. Oh, you don't? No, well, <laughs> Meg is giving me a hard time. That's new and different, right? And here we have the cat claw. Oh, my goodness. Yes, it was. Oh, hi, Mama. Okay, we have come to one dead end. It was a fence, so we turned around and we are going to take another trail here. This one looks a little bit more promising. We'll see what we have.
What beautiful firewood, right? Look at this beautiful tree. We're going to drop down in a wash. We'll find out. Okay, I'm going to turn around so I can get a picture. I want to get the whole tree in. It's going to be kind of far away, but I want to get the whole tree. Yep. It is beautiful. It is. Right, get one of me. Okay. My camera. Take these off because I don't want to take any chance of dropping anything. I took two of them. Very nice. I know that is a good tree. I'm sending Nugget into the unknown. We saw it looks like a little trail or a little road here. Okay. Meg has already got her arms all bloodied up from the cat claw. I forgot to suggest she wears long sleeves. I wear long sleeves all summer, so I don't even think about it. Elwood doesn't want to go this way, so he just he has to go this way because he doesn't want to go that way. Go on, you're fine. This is the best way. I'm taking you the best way. Yep, here we have the fence again. This has been our problem. This is dead ends. We go through all this cat claw to get to a dead end. Poor Meg is getting, she's going to look like hamburger by the time we get home. Well, this is too bad because it's beautiful. And you can't, there's no trails. And if there was a trail, it would be so flipping rocky, you wouldn't want your horses. Because yeah. neither one of us have barium on our shoes and you have boots. Yeah. There's the end of a wire. Yep, yeah. end of a bob wire roll. Yeah, there's no gates anywhere. They don't want people riding. I don't know if this is leased land or private. And if it's private, they don't have to. You know, exactly. They don't. I understand they don't want people back here because people leave their litter, they don't put out their fires, they Yep, they have no respect for our forest, so a lot of the people that have private land don't want them on it, which is reasonable. So this is kind of what we've been running into. We, yeah. we hurry up and go just to turn around. If it's 
ball, the horses will go through it. But when it starts getting up here, they're not going to Okay, it is 7.10 and Meg and I are going to start bushwhacking back to the trailers because by 8 o'clock it starts getting too warm. So we'll just see how far we can make it. Oh my gosh. Oh, look. We can't get down. I'll be darned. It's just... Yeah. What, what country, huh? Yes. I would not want to be chasing cattle over here. This is uh, rough land here. Okay, we're going to try this little trail. Okay, we, we've decided we're going to stay in this little wash. We'll see how long this lasts. Talk about low bridge. We have lots of trails, but they're cow trails. Cows can go under something four feet, and we don't have that luxury. <clears throat> yes. That's what I'm wondering because we're getting it's getting real. Yeah. I think we're going to have to go. Get into the cat. Okay. You don't want to try and get down in that wash over there? Well, we could. We want to. We can try. I'm not sure I want to. <laughs> it's the okay, we are trying to get over to the bigger wash so we can get out of this cat claw. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Nice trees. <laughs> okay, so we need to get over there. Let me see. Come on now. I'm just thinking right through. Let me see those low branches, though. I got to check those out. Okay, this, I think we can do this, Meg. We got to get to the main. Oh, this is what we did the other day. Yeah. Yeah, this is good too. 
Yep, we're gonna have to gonna have to go back. Elwood. Now it's on. Okay. We are going back. We gave up on that one. Gave up. It's just too uh, cat claw, too bushy. So we are going to go. My word. We're going to go back the way we got down in here. Hopefully, if we can find it. And we'll get back out to the road because this is definitely not safe. Okay, we need to get up to the left here. I think, come on. Let's go. Yeah, I don't want to go any further that way. There's too many boulders. Okay, let's go back. It's We're going to put a lot of miles on the day going in circles. Okay. Okay, we are going to try and go up the side of this hill. We'll see. Once we start, we're committed. It's... Yeah, I think we need to go back further. Come on, Elwood, we'll turn around. Let's go back. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna. We'll see. We'll find a place up. Hey, we are finally back on our trail that took us down in this cat claw from hell. So now we're gonna go back up on top and go to the road because it is right there, Meg, right? Right here. Here we go. Well, he sure said it right. Okay, so we are headed back to the road because we just can't get past the cat claw and the low branches. It's just too much. So, I think they did. This is the country that we're riding in this morning um, with Alita and Elwood. And we wanted to see a little bit different area further up Muskell Road. We didn't go all the way up to Turkey Creek. We're about midway. This was a very tall, impressive tree for out here in the desert. But there's, uh, we're in Ash Canyon, and you can see that there's 
pretty high walls all around us. So we're staying on the road because there's fences just off to the left and to the right. You really can't go anywhere. So probably not a good place to ride, but we just wanted a change of scenery. Right? Yes, ma'am. And it is beautiful up here. It is. If we want to bring chainsaws and uh, <laughs> backhoes, we can, we can make our own trail. <laughs> She can give us Moscow, but she can't give us Mescal up the street. <laughs> All right, Siri, you're such a f uh, smart ass. What's the temperature in Benson, Arizona? It's about 79 degrees in Benson, Arizona. Okay, do you have a temperature from Mescal, Arizona? It's 78 degrees right now in Mescal, Arizona. It's warm. Yep. We're almost 80. But anyway, Meg and Siri's so were helpful. we're having a fight a little no few problem. minutes. Huh? What did you tell her? You're so helpful. <laughs> when I get mad at Siri's, I'll tell her just shut up and leave me alone. She goes, I can't answer that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. Oh. Okay, Meg and I are still on the road because of the cat claw and the thicket. So I think we're just going to stay on the road getting back. We've had enough of that nonsense. And the big boulders, that makes it hard too for the horses to get around. We're going to walk. Yep, our pretty tree. There's beautiful trees up here. The oaks. We have oaks and Pinion, mesquite. All right, I've already said it once. I'm going to say it again. Love, love, love this gate. So much easier to close and open. All righty, we are back from our wild adventure. Back to our trailers. And it was a wild adventure, my goodness. Poor Meg. Look. But it was bushwhacking on a whole new level because we couldn't even get through doing it. It's like bushwhack, turn around, go back. Bushwhack, turn around, go back. <laughs> it was like, oh my gosh. And poor Meg didn't have long sleeves on, so her arms looked like hamburger. Yep, good idea. Okay. Okay, here we are. Okay, I'm going to take you over here so you can see Meg. The poor lady is so chewed up from cat claw. Oh. Oh. Look at this and her well, gloves. I wiped, are... I wiped all the blood off, but oh. you can still see all the scabs. And look at the gloves. Did you get your gloves? They were full of blood. Yeah. And this is a true cowgirl. Yeah. Look at there. Arm. <laughs> and That'll nugget. teach me to put a shirt in the truck. And I can't get over how tall Nugget is. I forget how tall she is. Look at this. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what is she? 16? No, no, she's only 15 and a half. Okay, 15 yeah. too. That's, that's still a lot taller than Elwood. Yeah, he's probably 14 and a half. I think so, yes. Yeah. He's just a little guy. Yeah. The... Nugget and all of his family, they're all 14 hands, 14 one. Except her. And Nugget, for some reason, shot up like a giant. Turn you around here. Well, thank you for coming with me today. It was a good adventure. We are back to the trailers. Let me see what time it is. Okay, my watch is not working. My phone is completely dead. It died last night, so as soon as I get home, I'm taking it down to Verizon. 
to see why it's dead. So thank you for joining me today and happy trails.